You gotta carry that, you're gonna carry that weight. Cowboy Bebop reference. Dun dun. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Eddie, and I'm back with another episode of Doki Doki Blue Skies. Woo! Okay, so I believe the last time we left off was day three, right? Okay, so let's just get right into it. Uh, everyone, remember, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And, uh, moving on. Okay, so where was I? Blanket, nightgown, marriage, silly, shiny, loud, mouse, socks, and melody. Melody, okay. Um, oops. Okay, as you could already tell, I'm going for the Sayori route at this point, so... Yeah. Fulgent, joy, whistle, question. Daydream. Yes, there we go. Oh god, what, 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 is this... I think I'm just traumatized from the original game, honestly. <laughs> Uncontrollable... Ocean, yes! Dance, tears, lazy. Dance, okay. Heartbeat. Jumpy, covet, games, music. Yes, okay. Hopeless, shame, wonderful, fester, whisper, color, pout, puppy, sensation. Sensation? Um. Sayori, this hurts. Alone, scarf. Rainbow shopping wrath. Doki Doki, there it is, my friends. Incongruent. Incapable. Okay. Uh, vanilla, crimson, summer, uncanny, marshmallow. Time. Memories, yes! Forgive, flying, beauty, lust, sugar. Beauty, lust. Sugar, fireworks, pure fun, intellectual candy. Forgive, forgive? Let me see. Headphones, that's what Miku wears, best girl. Twirl. What? <laughs> ah, screw it. Should be good enough, right? Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here. Oh, don't worry about it. Everyone's late from time to time. Besides, you've been working hard, so I think you deserve some slack. Seriously, I really do love these new Monica sprites. They're really amazing. It's a pity we can't go for her in the game. Hmm? I guess so. Usually pretty punctual, but I lost track of the time today. What made you forget the time? That's a funny story, actually. Oh, this is from the original game. <laughs> the 
the violin. Yeah, she does kind of seem like she does give off the violin vibe. I don't know why. The flute. Yes, that's actually a. The flute is actually in Yuri's theme. <laughs> Both girls. Thank you. Aww. I also like to play the piano. It's a really enjoyable instrument to play. <laughs> yeah, I really like how, uh, what do you call it? The MC has actually has a backstory here. He's not some two-dimensional or two-dimensional. He's not some one-dimensional character. He 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 he's a character with his own like motivations and stuff, and he's got his own like little backstory and his own like feelings and you know he's he's an actual character. That's what I like about this mod. Well, it's one of the many things I like about this mod, but you get the idea. So was your dad a good guy or not? Like, was was there someone in the right, or is this like a gray? Was it like a gray conflict? I I, I kind of want to know more about about the whole ordeal, actually. <laughs> Me neither. Natsuki, you changed your mind immediately. Ah, oh, she looks so adorable as well. I, I wish we had, like, festivals and stuff here in the U.S. I mean, I guess we have dances and parties. Which pretty much achieve the same thing. But still, the whole school's not as united. What if we could, like, combine festivals and, uh, party or dances? I don't know. I know, like, in Asia they have, uh, these school special school festival days where, like, they... It's actually, it's not just a school. The entire city goes on celebration. I've never been to one before, but... Well, actually, no, I have, but that was, like, different. It was more like an amusement park at that point. 2009. I, I might tell you guys about it someday. Squid. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, my God. That, that's, that's wonderful. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Say Ari, you look so adorable. Now that I think about it, I actually haven't tried the other option where I choose I would walk home with Yuri instead. I should try that out eventually, yeah. Obviously, I'm not gonna, like, save or anything to, like, actually, like, set it in stone. I'm not gonna save, but I'm just curious about, like, what, like, what the dialogue options would say. Suffering in silence. Why does it sound like a band title? She nods. Good girl. <laughs> Shoes me away. To be fair, you- maybe she- I mean, like, 
had I not played the game before, like, I, I, it would be possible that someone just, like, didn't have enough sleep. Like, realistically, there's a chance that someone just, like, didn't have enough sleep last night and they're super cranky. But knowing that, and actually, just knowing that this is a story, they won't, they won't put that into the story for no reason. So if there's something wrong with someone in this story, yes, then there's definitely something up with them. And in this game, we already know, Sayori's depressed. I don't know why I decided to say that. Oh. I know in the real game, Monica probably whispered, whispered some nasty stuff to say already, but... Always be there for everyone. Hold on, guys. Pee break. Okay, that was fast. Uh, we, we were out of soap, though. That sucks. Luckily, there's a soap bar at the side, but. Like, you know, like, we were out of liquid soap, and, uh, we, we, but we had solid, you know what, I was good, well, let, let's just move on with this. Yeah, I guess. Okay, everyone. Oh God, that's kind of worrying. Let's just go in reverse order. Oh wow, I never would have guessed. <laughs> have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? He's up to snuff. What's snuff? <laughs> okay, no pressure. That is kind of true, though. <laughs> A loyal literature club subject. Ah, yes. Right. I'm actually pretty excited for this festival. It's not something I can relate to. What did she just say? 
What, you're not looking forward to her performance? Ah, classic Monty laugh. I love that laugh. <laughs> Monty pose, woo! I hope so too, MC. I hope so too. <laughs> Her pristine composition notebook. The box too. On the nightstand sits an ornate box. Painstakingly crafted, decorated with the most delicate filigree. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, the most beautiful box you'll ever see. In the box stands a slender porcelain ballerina. No, not stands. Twirls. She's inanimate, yet animate. Cold, yet vibrant, and so beautiful. The most beautiful ballerina you'll ever see. She spins and spins and spins. As the box's melody goes tinkle, 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 she neither smiles nor frowns. A permanent look of blank composure. <laughs> Painting on her facade. She dances for my amusement, and yet I am ev evaded by amusement. The room spins around me. Vertigo. I want answers, but she gives me none. Slime the box closed, and there's another frickin' ant over here. Ah, I should go wash my hands, probably. I want answers, but she gives me none. None. I slam the box closed, and yet the room still spins. My skin, porcelain. Is this all she is meant to be? Is this a meaning she is supposed to derive? Is this a sole purpose for existence? And then her skin cr cracks, shattering. We all know what the metaphor is supposed to mean. The, the ballerina is Monica. Like, we, we all know the meaning of this poem. The ballerina is supposed to represent Monica and how she feels that she is just, you know, an idol, like a little figure that people like keep around their house to look nice, like you know, kind of the way we idolize her as a waifu, despite the fact that, or, or at least within the context of Doki Doki, she is a sentient AI, something like that. Hmm, that's true. One of the oldest questions of mankind: What are we? I never really put much thought into it. Aw, oh, come on! That is kind of facts, though, not gonna lie. Somber subjects for a somber day. <laughs> it's also kind of facts. That's actually true. I agree. I, I agree. Sorry. Thank you. Set it to the bottle. That's fair. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Woo! I want to see this. Do you ever feel discouraged when you're... Uh... Oh, yeah, I know what that means. Like this entire playthrough, for example. <laughs> I, I put out like a bunch of low quality posts and those get like hundreds of views and these um, You know things I put actual effort into or things. I'm actually proud of tend not to get as many views <sighs> I 
gotta agree with that one there. That one's that's 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 the painful truth, my friends. That's the painful truth. He's relative to most popular artists and authors. There's actually it's kind of facts. Monica. <laughs> Little airplane. There's an airplane outside. It's flying over my house. As much as I'd like to agree with that, Monica, it's a little hard when your entire livelihood just revolt if, you know, you, like, make livelihood out of it or something like that. I mean, that's where the concept of starving artist comes from, you know? That was the most depressing writing tip of the day ever. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, that's kind of facts, though. It's okay if you're poor and starving. At least you're happy doing what you like, right? That's my advice for today. Monica, you absolute troll. I love it. Thanks for listening. Flirtation twit tilled? Or, no, not flirtation. Yeah, flirty tilled. In whom? Whomstv? Should I show my poem to next? Thank you. Mm. <laughs> you probably should. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could argue with that. a bit more about the MC too. We we already know a lot about these girls. I, I kind of want to know what the MC's like because we, we barely ever see him. Ooh hoo hoo. Is that so heavy? You know what? I think so. And that's true. Oh, cute Yuri pose. I'm so sorry. Oh, she's blushing. Oh my god, that looks ap positively adorable. Eh? I don't want to make... <laughs> Yuri, oh my god, she, this is so cute when this happens. Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making a sound in your head. <laughs> hmm? Aww, poor Yuri. Forlorn. Pastel palettes shiver in shape. Underneath my... Gossam... Gossamen words. I don't know what that means. Out of reach, my shoulders ache. You float you float away, my pleas unheard. Lost in the silent, shark hold mist, I try to touch your silky hair. Glowing embers of passionate trysts. Whirling around in amethyst air. Vendant quadrilateral clovens navigate my rusty veins. Help me last until it's over. Take control, grab the reins. Whoa. I hope one day to see you again and hear your soothing, silent tune. I'll patiently wait for the moment when I'm shelter under your gentle moon. He seems kind of romantic, honestly. Sorry if this isn't the most interesting piece. What do you mean? This is awesome. Hmm? Oh, I 
thought it was like, okay. She was trying to make every other line rhyme, wasn't it? Oh. Eh? Oof, that, 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 that one hits hard. Cute Yuri pose once again. I Seriously, I love this sprite. Nosy. Boop. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing, Yuri. Yes, of course, Edward. Aww. This one's alright. Alright? Come on. Yeah, it's about average. <laughs> again. Well, at least I'm trying. I never said you weren't. This just isn't my style. Oh, come on! Alright, alright, nothing wrong with that. People have their own opinions. Yep. Your poems are kind of like... decent, I guess I could say is the word. Huh. <laughs> oh my god. Fang. Oh my god, that confidence. <laughs> Alright, Natsuki, whatever you say. Let's see your poem now. Something happy. Hmm. Cookies and cream in my own happy place. Fresh and warm sunshine in a breeze on my face. Oh, she, she does the same thing. These are the things that happiness means. Just folded laundry, hot from the dryer, lifting up, lifts up my spirits so they can't go much higher. Puppies and bunnies and cute bunnies too. All cuddled up with small barks, squeaks, and mews. These are things that make me beam. Just sleeping in a big, soft bed. Listening to rain pit, pit, pit pat overhead. Talking with friends and laughing out loud. Always gone, now, now gone and playing aloud. These are the things that fill my dreams. But sometimes happiness is hard to find. I know darkness lingers in everyone too, and some people feel the eternal blues. Here's my poem from me to you. Please know that people are all alike. If we stick together, we'll be alright. Let's talk and laugh about happy things and find the joy that true friends can bring. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Wow. Nice. I, uh... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Natsuri confirmed? Hmm? Not for me, but I know what you mean. Bowser, you were? Shut up. Ouch. That's childish, alright? Really something happy. Yeah, I like this one. This is pretty good. Good message. You know, if that last poem Yuri wrote uh, was for Natsuki, Natsuri is confirmed. <laughs> I'm not dumb, you know? <laughs> I do know big words. Consciously. Whom should I show to? Ah, oh, jeez, this is really hard. Who should I choose, guys? Who should I choose? This is very important. Who should I choose next? Of course it's Sayori. I wrote this one for you! Thanks. Why? Everyone's got a good style. Yeah, I do like those sorts of poems, honestly. It makes me feel happy. Aww. 
Thank you, Edward. That means more than you can imagine. Am I starting to get through to her? Who knows? He said, I didn't read that properly, sorry. It's funny that you mentioned that. She said she was going to discuss that with everyone today after we all shared our poems. What? A sidekick? A psychic. I read thy mind. I'm a psychic, guys. You know what you want to do? You want to press the like button, don't you? What am I doing? Oh, what am I thinking of then? Breakfast? <laughs> right? Trust me, if they, if this, this sort of thing happens in a show or like an anime, it never... That's... that that's... And not just... Well, in, even in real life, too. Fairy tale. In a kingdom far, far away, there was a castle. In the castle, there was a wish. The wish came to be long, long ago. She was made an angel, but I wasn't an angel. I was just a wish, a wish to make everyone happy. Oh god, this is about her, isn't it? I took on their burdens, I did what I could. I kept safe their dreams like a guardian should. The seeds from my effort then spread far and wide. I fed them power I found deep inside. People liked me when I had made, made things right, but they got used to it and stopped believing so much. I watched the children playing and felt sad, but I was happy too, I really was. It truly was enough to be the fairy godmother, the one everyone depended on and trusted. But time kept on passing as I gave my all. I had nothing left and I couldn't stand tall. But I kept on going as I'd always done. A soldier in battle with nowhere to run. Even wishes get tired too. Once everyone was happy, my job was done. What came after? I could see darkness on the horizon. Quick, make it go away. When everything's big and bright, what more could anyone wish for? Nobody knew how long it would keep up, but we kept living happily, happily, happily ever after. Oh god. Oh god. So, what did you think? I'll say, Ori, I... I had no idea I could write like this. This is something else. Have some, have the others seen this? <laughs> Aww. This is concerning. But she's feeling down herself. Okay, I, even if you haven't, like... Even if you haven't seen the... See, like, played the original game... If, if you don't know that something's up with Saria at this point, I have no hope for you, my friend. You know, in the Doki Doki uh, Literature Club community, Sayori is often called the Angel? Am I seriously emphasizing with a fictional angel? Listen up, buddy. That's what a good story does. It makes you empathize and, like, feel like the characters in a story. If you start feeling for or, like, empathizing with the characters, well, either A, they are a hot anime waifu, and they're just hot, and that's why you care about them. B, they're or they're like B. They're a really well written character with deep, complex motivations that you could rely on. Maybe you could look up to them. Maybe you could uh, relate to them. Maybe you could like hate them. It doesn't matter. If you feel like an emotion very strongly about them, that's well written. Or C. They could be both.
Sayori, I'm so worried about you. Uh, you still remembered. Sorry about that, Kate. I drank too much water. Anyways! I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Anyways, as I was saying, what did she say before? Okay. World Shun, uh, let's, festival. Oh, you still remembered. Anyways, as I was saying, well, I already know what I'm doing. That's all, that's right. Natsuki will make her your specialty. Cupcakes! Woo! And different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Banners and decorations, that sounds like a good idea. Huh, it's funny that you mentioned that. I was about to say that myself. Y'all, great minds think alike, right? <laughs> anyway. Ouch. <laughs> but, oh, I said it. The one and only club member who is useless. Face. I, I, uh, I was watching the old videos recently, I realized that uh, my profile, my picture doesn't actually cover up all of the left corner of the screen, but, but that was with Natsuki, so I'll just turn my face off for now, so you could see some of the faces. Okay, it's not as if I'm not only speaking for myself, Monica and Sari would likely appreciate the help of well, as well. <laughs> Argument. Guys, guys. He like he's the last boy on earth. <laughs> I kinda am though, aren't I? <laughs> this has nothing to do with being a boy. <laughs> Sundere! Okay, a picture back. Sundere, Sundere. I agree, we're morally discussing our workloads. Yeah, sure, guys, sure. <laughs> Monica does that pretty uh, efficiently. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we? <laughs> I just love this Nancy sprite. Very well. Da, da, da. In that case. Moment of truth, guys. Who should I go for? Vote down in the poll below. I'm kidding, there's no poll. I'm just gonna choose by myself. I, I wish there was a poll. Why I, I wish I could have streamed this. Jeez. Ah, who should I go for? This is hard. All of them? Let's go for Sayori then. Because... Uh, 
Hey, Sayori. Kidding, kidding. Seriously, enjoy yourself, guys. You two will have a lot of fun. I can sense it. It'll be fun, guys, I promise. Alright. Well, I, I feel like uh, I feel like today was a lot shorter than usual. I'm kinda curious what what's Monica? Good. All right. Sunday at 11. That sounds pretty awesome. Looking forward to hanging out with Sayari. Huh? Seriously, these houses really are nice. I want to live in them. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I played the original game, so I already all kind of know, but who knows? Do I just go on? You know, I'm just gonna go on. Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna go on, guys. Not in a bad way or anything. It's just been a long time, long, long time since we've had a a day out together with just the two of us. I'm just gonna count this as a because yeah, that that was really short. I, I I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna play on to Sunday as well. Today's Sunday, right? I guess I'll only be counting school days. Me too. Mr. Cow! <laughs> Video games don't train you to shoot in real life. That's actually kind of facts. Ooh, not... Damn, you have a nice house. I mean, I, 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 I've said that before, just looking at their exteriors, but... Yeah, given uh, how polished those houses look on the outside, I don't be... I'm not surprised that they, they look that awful... Uh, pretty... I'm not surprised they look pretty amazing on the inside, too. Is that a TV? Jesus... Casual outfit. Work looks really on. Aww, cute. Hey, yeah, sure. Let's get going. Hmm. 
Nice. They're leftovers from a birthday party eight years ago. Jesus, you have you have leftovers from your ten year old birthday party? Puppy dog eyes. Getting cake all over your face, right? Hey, you did too! Oh my god, it's like a Sayori casual outfit with the uh, with the uh, with the finger pose. Oh my god. You look ah, uh, you look adorable, Sayori. Guilty as charged. Well, those two items down, we just have to visit the bookstore and the supermarket. Which one are you gonna find first? Start with the bookstore, it's closer. Whatever you say. Is is that a Zer Lane? Wait, what 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 is that? I feel like I've seen that before somewhere. Okay, so it appears they have decided to put it in Japan. Unless that's Chinese. Probably not, but... I, I, I kinda can't tell the two apart, honestly. Well, Chinese looks a bit more complex, I think. But then there's also kanji, which is literally just Chinese, so... Um, okay, yeah, that, that looks pretty Japanese. Um, downtown Street. <sighs> XYZ. Just let, let's just not question it, okay? Intently a slight skip in her step. Adorable as she could be. Ollie's so cheery, it's like she lives in her own little world. Hey, Sayori. Who says- okay, Sari, who says gamers can't be poets, huh? Games are art. Okay? I mean, I, I am the- I do play games more for the- uh, like, I, I do pay more attention to the story. And, and I suppose there are just those gamers that just play for the sheer gameplay. And not, not saying I don't play for gameplay. But, you know, like, I enjoy gameplay, obviously. <laughs> like, Minecraft, that, that doesn't have a story to it. That's just 100% gameplay, and I enjoy it. What I'm saying is, I usually, uh, really, really like paying attention to the stories of the games as well, so... <laughs> Sounds very scary. Uh, it's the... it's the... It's the... It's the arrow eyes. I, I don't know what you call those. I love those. To be fair, horrible things happen in the world in real life, too. Yep, Sari's wonderful innocence. It never went anywhere. You know they're all supposed to be 18, right? That's a little unrealistic. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty cheery. I'm, I'm cheery like Sayori, and, uh... I'm pretty aware of nasty things happening in the world. Yeah, at this age, uh, most people aren't really innocent. Like that. But Sayori, she is. I mean, I suppose that's, a uh, part of the reason we're attracted to, uh, archetypes like these. It's because they're always pure. They're always, like, uh, happy, you know? You don't see that too much nowadays. I mean, there never has been. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, kids were so much more innocent back in the day, but that's not true. They never were innocent. It's always been, it's always been sort of like this. It's, this is just the way things are, and it's the way things will be, and it's just the way things will be forever. Unless, as I said, everything just becomes super happy, and, uh, you know, no one, and, like, nothing happens, in which case, it's not just the kids, even the adults, we all become babies. And... I know this sounds a little cruel, but I'm actually not- I don't know if that's- I don't know if we should necessarily look forward to that, you know? <sighs> I 
hip. You're so sweet, Edward. You know that? Aww. <laughs> it feels like you're saying that to me now. Sayori. Bookmarks of all things. <laughs> oh my god, Sayori, you're so cute. They've got little puns on them. <laughs> oh my god, this is so, so hilarious. You are the apple of my eye. Somebody punch me in the face right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree. Oh my god, Sayori. Aw, no fun. Ah, I agree with both of them. Like... Uh, if I was in this situation, would it be like Sayori or, or like the MC? I actually don't know. I, I feel like I could go either way, honestly, because... Yes, they're for a bunch of strangers, but then again, you could have so many like fun and creative... Bookmarks, you know? And besides, just realistically speaking, there's probably a much larger number of plain bookmarks. And I don't want to, like, deplete the whole stock of bookmarks here. We'll get you the donut one, though. Donut, you know how amazing you are. Got him. I forget that too at times. Well, I don't forget, I just am annoyed by the fact that literally no one's into the stuff I'm in. Or, like, no one that I know in real life. It's all online people. You know who I'm talking about. You know, you guys, the viewers. I don't think I've met a single person who was into Doki Doki in real life. Or, you know, anything I'm interested in that for, for that matter. I mean, I guess there's like Star Wars, but they're all casual um, I guess there's JoJo. I met some guys who actually liked JoJo during the last weeks, but that's not like a thing I'm super into. Um, I got into Halo recently, but... You know, let's just move on. Just need the sweets, right? Hey! <laughs> I would totally TC her you like this if she was real. It's not my fault I got a sweet tooth. We all- I mean, don't- doesn't everyone? Rainbow. Never <laughs> day cookies here. Oh no, seriously? It's heartbreaking. <laughs> Crazy, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. I. I... <laughs> oh my god, Sayori. <laughs> Seriously, these backgrounds really are well made. Strawberry, why? Oh, no reason, just wondering. Ligorous. That's kind of random. Problem is, you're, you're protecting her from outside threats, which is great, but you also gotta recognize the inside threats. Ugh. Like a burp. That was stupid. I think these will be okay, don't you think? 
She points to her bag, was filled with the... Yum. Ooh. We still got a lot to do, don't forget. Fruity sweets. I don't know. I've I never really liked like the fruity sweets that much. I, I I personally really like chocolate, but I've never liked like you know the the fruity or like the candy sweets. These kind of feel cheap to me. Decided to go for the fruity sweets. All right, yeah, I, I already mentioned all that. All right, think I'll think I think that'll do. Oh, time for me time to leave already. Could you do me a teeny tiny favor? Let me guess. Buy you some cinnamon buns. Ooh, yum. That's because you're a cinnamon roll, say are you? <laughs> he blushes a little, turning away. Ooh! Guess something's never changed, right? He. <laughs> I think I think I'd be a little self-conscious in that situation. I'm not completely oblivious. Well, sometimes I am. Actually, it really, really, it really depends on the situation, I guess. Let's head home and get started with the quotes. Okay, all I need is to grab the goodie bags and ribbon from my place. What kind of computer does the MC have? I'm actually kind of curious about that now. <laughs> yeah, it Great thinking. Here, hand me the bookmark so I could take him home. See you in a bit. Just give me the buzz when you're outside. Sure thing. I'm thinking about literature. <laughs> really deep quotes. True. Hold on, uh... Why don't you just have goodie bags with dozens of colors on them? I, I, I don't think I could choose either, honestly. Just... Instead of buying 100, like, red ones or 100 green ones, you could have, like, 20 red ones, 20 green ones, 20 yellow ones, uh, 20 blue ones, 20... Purple ones? Just something like that, you know? Oh, pink one. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that, that's it. Deep. That one's okay. She said that in the original game. No. God, uh, it's kind of profound. Uh, I agree. Well, not necessarily. I usually plot my stories out. Well, that okay. I don't plot my stories out. I just have a wonderful idea. I come up with a beginning. I come up with an ending. I come up with a bunch of like, no, actually, first I come up with the world building. <laughs> That's what I usually do first. I start creating like uh, nations and politics and like, like soldiers and like armies and just like grand like 
inner po political stuff and like, you know, very big scale stuff. And then eventually they start thinking, hey, you know, that would be a really good concept to actually make. And then I start making a character and then I get attached to him and I start making a backstory which eventually morphs and like and, and then that's when I start making the story from start to and usually the ending is created before like the middle so often what happens is obviously the character the, the, like the grand scheme of politics usually like the initial initial like just like raw ideas I have usually change throughout the story. Like, for example, there was this one story idea I had where, uh, I thought there was this guy, he would be, like, a vigilante, and, like, he would be using, like, I thought of a cool magic system, and, like, they, they would, like, use magic and stuff, and, like, you know, they would, like, fight. It's like, a, it's like a medieval fantasy setting. And then eventually, later on, I figured, that's a great story and all, but considering the, st uh, the story that this guy is just supposed to be a regular guy, Maybe he shouldn't have magic, and he should just use raw creativity. And then later on, I figured, and originally he was like the backstory was like he was like a missing prince or something like that. And I said, well, no. What if he's just a normal guy? And the grand political scheme of things, I it went from a relatively decent, benign kingdom to a more of a malicious kingdom. So the backstory, the world building, all of it changed a little bit. You know, uh, yada yada yada. Maybe I'll tell you about that someday too. <laughs> Laughter is so innocent and sweet. Aww. You already do, Edward. Aww. Okie dokie. You're so cute. Me too, guys. Even before this whole outbreak, I think I've just... I've been locked in this room just playing games since before the outbreak. Well, that's actually, that's not true. There was a graduation. That was fun. And I still did have school, honestly. And my friend's there, but... And I guess some of my friends online. Yeah, I miss going outside. Yeah. Aww. Indeed. That's right, Sayori. MC needs to be happy too. Can't have you being sad. That's right. Starting with this. Tickle. Yeah, I'm ticklish. Me too. Childlike grin on her face. Aww. Sayori, I can't really just give me a second. <laughs> No, you trick you trick me, ha! <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> Bamboozled by the mastermind Edward. <laughs> ah, mercy. What was that? I didn't catch that. You'll have to speak up. <laughs> oh, nice. Aww. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Oh. Aww. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, spicy. Oh. <laughs> Change of topic. Awkward errors to spell. I heard that, uh... Yeah, if you wait for f more than four seconds, it becomes awkward. Did I already tell you? I feel like I might have already told you that. Whatever. You, Edward. Aren't you nervous? Truthfully, yeah. I don't have Monica's confidence, sadly. Someone turned the AC. Looks like someone turns the turned the AC on. I have an excuse to be bad. Ha ha ha. That's true. Okay, so that was two days. Actually, more like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave it off there. Okay. So that was two days. Although that, that, the two days were pretty short, given. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Oh. Yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that episode. I'm super pumped for next episode. But yeah, that, that was super good. I... That was, like, really wholesome. That was just really sweet. I loved it. Um... Yeah, I don't know how to say about it. <laughs> so I guess that's the video, guys. Everyone, remember to like and subscribe, everyone. Because if you do, you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna be able to be happy. That's right. Remember what I said? I was psychic. You all wanna press that like button, you wanna press that subscribe button, and you wanna smash that bell. Anyways, hope you guys liked like that video. Sky's up, and you guys are awesome. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!